Now, CapKview First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. And happy Friday, everybody. Looking at just a few changes as we head into this upcoming weekend. Overall, some pretty quiet weather, not expecting really much as far as wet weather goes. We'll just have a very, very small rain chance out there on early Saturday morning. Downtown Yakima, though, air stagnation advisory that is in place. We have actually have a high pressure system uh, that is in place uh, throughout the day today and through the majority of the upcoming weekend, which is why that stagnation advisory continues until 10 a.m. on Monday morning. So again, Yakima, Ellensburg, Cleelum included in on that. The current update on that air quality. We have some pockets of some moderate air, uh, including Prosser, and then now up into the uh, Ellensburg area. So this will change just a bit as we head throughout uh, Saturday and Sunday. Might start to get a little bit of some mixing out there early Saturday morning with that funnel system moving through, which will actually help to improve some of the air quality from time to time, but then that high pressure system building back in later Saturday and into Sunday. But overall, some light wind speeds out the door might start to pick up just a little bit for the foothills of the blues uh, for this afternoon. Some of your wind gusts today could be up to about 20 miles per hour. But there are your temperatures. Most locations below that freezing mark right now. So it is a very cold start. 28 Tri-Cities, 30 for Walla Walla, and then down to about 23 for Yakima. That one spot still just above freezing. Uh, Hermiston, you're at 33 degrees. Now we will see a little bit of some freezing fog and some uh, patchy fog developing over the upcoming weekend as well. Good to go across the majority of our area early this morning. Mainly just seeing a few high clouds drifting in from the west. It's going to be pretty quiet out there for today. Not a whole lot to talk about around the Pacific Northwest. But again, that system that we see just off the coast, that could be swinging in here early on Saturday morning, providing us just with a slight chance for that stray shower. So again, enjoying some of that sunshine out there for this afternoon. Here is that front as it moves on through. We'll just have maybe a slight chance for a sprinkle or a stray shower early Saturday morning before going back to that mostly sunny sky. Sunday's going to be a beautiful day as well. Maybe a little bit of some fog early in uh, to start off the day, but we should be enjoying more of that sun and then that next system swings through here on Monday. We'll get another slight chance for maybe a stray shower or two. Those winds picking up just a little bit uh, but overall not a bad start to the work week before more sun back in the forecast for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Now temperatures overall in the next uh, week or so will hover right around average. The only excep exception will be as we head into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Those numbers dropping will actually be in the upper 30s there for your Wednesday and Thursday. So let's get you over to that forecast for today with 42 and Toppenish. 44 degrees this afternoon in Yakima. On those upper 40s for Hermiston into the Tri-Cities. 43 in Connell today and then close to about 50 for Walla Walla and then 52 in Pendleton. So overnight tonight, still looking at that chance for some patchy freezing, freezing fog possible as numbers fall into the upper 20s and low 30s. But there's your seven day forecast, just a small shower chance early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we should be enjoying some sunshine. A bit breezy there on Monday. 46 degrees, maybe a, a slight chance for a few rain showers, but then back to some sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday. And then even in Yakima, we should be enjoying a pretty quiet weekend overall, a little bit of some fog. We're going to see 50 degrees for Saturday, 44 on Sunday.